Hey guys, welcome back. This is Naresh. So in this video, we will see one of the interview question that is how to remove a space from a string. And in that, we don't have to use any inbuilt method through which we can remove the space. So how can we do that in Java? Okay. So for this, I have created a blank file and now I will create a class. I will call it as class remove space. Okay. And in this class, I will first go ahead and write public static void main because that's a first method of my Java class and it takes an argument of an array. So I will give that. Okay. And here I'm not using a scanner class to get an input from the user. I am directly writing a string. So I will say string s1 equal to this is a string okay okay and now I am giving a string which is blank so there's nothing in that okay so now I can how I can remove a you know spaces in a string so what I will do I will try to read each character from a string and I will compare that if it's a space or not if it's a not a space I will add that string into this s2 and in the end I will print that out okay so this is one way how we can do that so let's go ahead with that so what I will do I will create a for loop and here I will say for int i equal to 0 okay and I want this for loop uh, how many times for that I will give s1 dot length Okay, so it will give me a length. Let's say it's a 15 character uh, length of this string S1. So it will give me that and there I will do I++. Okay. Alright, now I will fetch each character. Okay, so what I will do, I will say uh, care1 equal to and here I will say S1. So S1 is my string and there is a function called care at. I will say 0. Okay, so I am fetching the character from the S1 link, but uh, let's instead of zero, I will give I. So I will be zero for the first time. So the I will contain T for the first time because here I am fetching S1 dot care at I and I is zero in the loop. So S1 dot care at zero is T. The next time I want to fetch H. So the, when this loop will continue, the I value will get increased because I am increasing the value. So I become one. Okay, and when we say s1 dot care at i, so it will fetch h, and there's the same way it will fetch i, it will fetch s like that. Okay, so my care one is a character which contain this. But if you see, and if you move your mouse pointer here, it says I have not created a local variable. So I can go ahead and I can even give this care equal to care uh, one, or even I can give a string also here. So I will say string care one so I can give anything right so I can give string I can give care at here if I give a string then I need to convert that out okay because here see what it is doing s1 dot care is providing me a character so it is fetching a character from a string so I need to store that into a character data type but if I want it to be converted so I need to convert this out and then I have to store it into the string see if I see something like if I do something like this Okay, so there would be no problem because what s1 dot characters give me a character it is you know I am just adding it with a blank space and then it is storing at the care one okay so this is the way I can give also or there is another way also I can just remove it out okay let it give me the error and now what I will do I will get a value of that character so when you get a value of that character it automatically gets converted into a string so there is a there is a function and that function uh, I can uh, call with the class called string. So if I call this string dot value of okay and here if I give this then again this character will get converted into a string. So there are different ways how you can get a character you can have a character type or you can have a string type and for that either you do a plus operator with double quote or you can get string dot value of the so string is a function. Uh, which has a method value of which converts a character into a string and I have given that so now 
let's see so now i got the first character and i need to compare it okay so i can give if care one dot so now i need to compare it i will say equal ignore case so here i will give a blank space here so if it's a space okay so if it's a space i don't have to do anything if it's not a space i have to add that into this s2 okay so just to make it simpler uh, when I say if after that I will say not so that's mean if the character is not a space Then what I will do I will add that into s2 So I will say s2 equal to s2 plus and then again I will just add that character which I have fetched so I will add this care one Okay, so that's mean if it's not a space it will add that into s2 if it's a space it will ignore that out the same way it will add T, H, I and S. When it comes to this space, it will see that yes, this is a space. So it will not go into this if uh, loop and it will directly go out and it will go at the top of the loop and then it again go to I. Okay, so very simple way through which I have ignored the spaces and I am adding that into the S2 string. Now I just need to pin this to a string once this uh, for loop is over. So I will say system dot out dot print dot ln and here i will give s1 and after that i will say system dot out dot print ln and here i will give s2 okay now let's run that let's see there is no problem here okay so run Okay, so you will see that this is a string and it has removed the spaces from it. This is a string. So this is one of the simplest way in Java through you, which you can remove the spaces from a string and you don't have to use the inbuilt function, any inbuilt function to do that. You can do that by your own also. Alright, so thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.